Bob Anderson Clean Power Wash, cleanpowerwash.com. Uh, so we're having an issue with the proportioner. It keeps losing prime and I was losing a lot of my pressure up top. We're up in this lift over here doing some work. It would build back up, but then within a few seconds that it kept getting worse and worse, it would lose prime. So you look at these things, one, soap line doesn't seem to be pulling much. I'm gonna trim that off anyways, because that's gonna be injecting some air into the system. This, this overall chem line hose is not the greatest anyways. It's uh, no longer clear like it was, and there's probably a pinhole leak in it somewhere. But the bigger issue here is how much air we've got in the bleach line. This is why you want to have clear lines on these. So one, we can see real quick, yep, we're good. We got water, no air bubbles in the water line. This is our flush valve. Obviously this should be nice and pink with apple wash, but bigger issue again is over here, even though when we had this fully open, it would prime. All right, so we know, here's the big issue. It's gotta be something on the bleach line. And give me one second while I get up here. Check the fitting. The fitting's nice and tight. Well, the overall bulkhead's moving around a little bit. And let's just look at something here. Oops. And hold on. We've got a nice crack right there in the bulkhead. I realize that this is threaded with the bulkhead, and then the pickup pipe is threaded in the back. This right here is why we're sucking air. That little crack, and it actually looks like there's, uh, I think there was another one somewhere else on here. You've got the split there. Um, those are what's making the seal fail on there and causing air to get into the system. Not a proportion problem or the booster pump having issues, it's the fact that we're getting air into the system. So we're gonna replace this bulkhead fitting and then be able to go ahead and keep getting this job done. See ya.